And third is the deterioration of the materials accelerates the more chemicals uh, and accumulated dirt and, yeah. mm -hmm. and stuff that people just Makes drop sense. accumulates on it. So the whole, the whole system and the drainage functionality improves if it's maintained mm -hmm. in this way. Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, I mean, every few years I have power wash done and they need to do very little resetting. But there's a period of time after which you really ought to clean it completely and reset as needed mm -hmm. so that, I mean, it will, look, it will look phenomenally better. You know, it's not that it looks bad now right. mm -hmm. compared to asphalt would, would at this stage. Yeah. But the point is that it's just going to function better. It's going to be more what you wanted when you bought it if it's kept up so that it's clean and it drains properly. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. so I think we have some direction here that we'd like to mm -hmm. investigate going ahead on this, um, you know, getting bids, getting, you know, estimates um, on yeah. that and, and see where that comes out, okay? <laughs> You'll okay. need to do an RFP if it's over 25000 though. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Okay. I would do it as an RFP just so that you have the option the latitude, yeah. of considering all the parts that you might want. Mm -hmm. You may get somebody who comes in. I mean, this is a this is a pretty large lot as these things go. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, I mean, compared to residential, for example, you know, um, redoing my driveway was about six thousand last summer. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a much bigger lot, yeah. mm -hmm. and these prices are not unreasonable. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, the other item under discussion is just the annual resolution, which again we're not voting on, mm -hmm. um, but it's sort of a, it's here, we're going to deal with, the, it's sort of an upcoming for the up, you know, the budget discussion. We have to have a resolution. Uh, there's some changes here. Uh, Heather, why don't you highlight the changes sort of reflecting what we've done, what we think we're going to be doing, and what we've decided maybe we're not going to do so much. Like one of the new ones you thought about would be the RFID, for example, an estimate on adding that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, compared to the last one, I mean, some of the stuff had already been done um, prior, like all the computer replacements. But we still have more computer stuff. We're going to need new servers. We've been told that by CBI. That's $50,000 uh, next mm -hmm. fiscal year, um, as well as upgrade. There's a lot of continual tech needs of upgrading peripherals, as well as um, additional costs related to the fiber install. Mm -hmm. um, things like that so that's what the first one is um there is uh, an amount in here if you do decide to go to rfid the estimated cost of that mm -hmm. um improvements mm -hmm. to the building um most of the hvac the major stuff is done but there's things from that assessment report um galvanized plumbing is big electrical um moving from the cloth electrical system and upgrading that um, at some point, the elevator uh, B, I believe, might need to be redone. Um, mm -hmm. Elevator A, all the parts were replaced, but the other elevator needs some um, equipment upgrades, things like that. Mm -hmm. I don't, on the um, elevators, I, just, I don't assume that it's easy for them to put in something so that you know what floor the elevator is on when you're waiting for it. <laughs> That's a control panel issue. Right. Is it? Yeah. yeah, and it can be done. It's a question of what you want to spend on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah and elevators are notoriously expensive mm -hmm. to I replace know. or upgrade, right? Um, so another another change was just to put in a little bit more for furnishings. We've been talking about mm -hmm. that for a while. Uh, that includes carpeting mm -hmm. issues. Um, modifying building entrances. I changed this a little bit. I, I took out the drive up window modification uh -huh. um, and added a modification to potentially add off-site lockers or kiosks or a potential curbside service. Uh -huh. I think the drive up window has been uh, researched and evaluated and just will not work in uh -huh. this 
Not environment, so I took that one off. Um, signage is in the works, of course. Um, the landscape project, I reduced the cost a little bit just because... Um, we have a bid. We have a bid, right. Uh, we know where we are. So, uh, so that's what that is. Um, expanding, upgrading, or maintaining parking areas, $300,000. That would include this project that you're talking about tonight mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, or other things that come up. And then um, renovating the interior spaces. I made that one larger um, because that's an interior space design plan for the lower level and part of the first floor. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Uh, is that? And you haven't voted on it yet, but I just wanted you to see it sort of, mm -hmm. so that you can vote so on that, it later. You know, Heather going through what she's familiar. done, what, you know, her thinking on it for us to, you know, have in front of us for the next, for our finance committee. Um, director's report. Heather, this is it. Your yeah. last one. <laughs> well, it's... Uh, I'm very sad tonight that this is my last meeting yes. with all of you. Um, it's It was a very difficult decision. Um, I have a heavy heart while I'm leaving. Um, it's rather bittersweet because mm -hmm. it's, it's a wonderful library. And I just want to say thank you so much for all of you. Mm -hmm. uh, you've been a pleasure to work with, and you have really helped me so much to learn and grow as a professional. And I just really want to thank you for that. So um, I know without a doubt that w the library is in good hands with this board and with this staff and that things are going to run very smoothly mm -hmm. in my absence, but um, I'll be keeping my eye out, see okay. what's going on. <laughs> and um, this was really um, a personal decision and I just, I felt that my heart belongs in children's and um, that's where my career is taking me next, but I just wanted to say how much I appreciated all of you. So thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so we have two co-directors, Barb, uh, sorry, Gail and Betty, and Barb is certainly assisting a lot. Um, we've been talking a lot about transition issues. Uh, we divided up responsibilities. I sent you that list, I believe, so mm -hmm. that you can kind of get a sense of things. In general, um, Gail will be your main point of contact for board communications, although Betty and Gail will both work very closely together to prepare the board packets. Often you'll see them both at the board meetings. We just thought it would be simpler for you to have one point of communication, but they will be talking all the time and sharing everything. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to thank them for, for stepping up and helping the library during this, this time of transition. Um, so the search firm is Bradbury, uh, which you guys already know that. Mike Boone, our new HR uh, manager, will be the communication conduit for that Great. so <laughs> that uh, he can make sure that staff is informed and you're informed and the search firm is informed mm -hmm. and the co-directors are informed. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. everyone has the same information about what's happening on the search. So that's what that's all about. Um, very excited that the salary grade scale project is, yes. is done. That was, that was a big bear of a project. The new um, grade scale has been introduced to staff. You guys have seen it. Everyone's seen it. Uh, so the ne next step is just making the adjustments. Mm -hmm. um, the first phase of that will be done by the end of this week to make sure that people are brought up to minimum and those adjustments are made. Who does that and how? Um, I'm working with Barb and okay. Mike on that. We're okay. sending letters to uh -huh. all the staff that will be impacted by that. Great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it helps us to avoid uh, pay compression. Mm -hmm so that we can make sure that uh, existing um, tenured staff are keeping pace on the scale uh, just like new hires. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah. um, So I did want to put in a little yay for Lyra because mm -hmm. yeah. I, I know that that was a hard decision that you guys mm -hmm. made, but I feel like you guys really made the right decision after hearing what's going on mm -hmm. in liability insurance world. And oh, yeah. Cyber world. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. They're really staying on top of issues that libraries need protection about, so I think that's really great. 
Uh, landscaping, the plan's on track at this point, but I just wanted to clarify a couple things. One is, at the last meeting, you guys saw the plan. You voted for the engineering study to proceed mm -hmm. forward. Mm -hmm. um, you did not vote on the cost of the plan, but right. <laughs> you agreed that you liked the plan as it was designed, and you wanted to use that design mm -hmm. to get the engineering study going and to go to bid. So right now that's where things are. Um, it's really up to you, like you said, if you want to meet to have, you know, a decision about how to proceed. Betty and I have been talking, we talked to Jody. There are points where you could continue with the project and pause. Mm -hmm. That's that's one mm -hmm. option. Or you could just stop the project and do it all in the spring. That's another option. Mm -hmm. In the spring a year from now. Yeah. Um, right now, the project mm -hmm. timeline has the hardscape going in in the fall and mm -hmm. the plantings going in in the spring. Mm -hmm. If you decide to pause, you could pause briefly during the bid process just to give yourself time to really think about it and, mm -hmm. and um, you know, get all your ducks in a row. Mm -hmm. So you could delay that like maybe a month something like that, or you could just have the whole project done in the spring. Mm -hmm. And the other And would we make... still go forward with the engineering part of it that was being done now? Yeah, I mean, that's I, that's what mm -hmm. I would recommend, mm -hmm. that you at least get that part done. Yeah, that's the foundational part, so. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Cause... So then we can move forward when we decide we, right. it'll be done. Yeah. We well, have part of the engineering work is to recommend staging. And phasing. Yeah. So what could emerge among the options would be for the design work that the engineering plan will result in to offer recommendations for how to proceed. In fact, I would hope that it does that. And they may build in those recommendations. It may not be something we have to ask for specifically because it's a natural step mm -hmm. in you know, going forward, um, there's no particular value in rushing to do the plantings ahead of any of the hardscape. No, I mean, it sounds like hardscapes first. Hardscape anyway. has to be first, right? It should right. be. Yeah. I, I mean, it is nice as a new director potentially starting in September if, or mm -hmm. October. It's always nice to have a project in the works rather than mm -hmm. at the very, you know what I right. mean? Like, mm -hmm. I mean, that's just something to think about as well. Or, or do the whole thing next year. Or, yeah. right. right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. might be nice to have both on this, the parking lot, and then also the space planning for the readers by the fireplace, sort of in the process. Otherwise, a new director will take a year and a half to decide they want to do it. <laughs> Something to think about. <laughs> to think. Yeah. So I, I do want to ask, you like the plan, though, the design? Yes. Overall, yeah. <laughs> I mean, are, were there any issues with the design itself that were troubling? Or you wanted to relook at? Or you wanted to rethink? Well, I'm a, a detail, but I want to be sure that the benches that they're bringing in, the wood, I think they're wood in the back, that those are com indeed comfortable. So I was talking with Cynthia about getting a hold of Jody and finding out where they, if there are those benches somewhere that I could go sit on. Oh, OK. <laughs> and, and test them out. Benches have been a constant source of discussion, as, you know, w right. both comfort for the benches, location for the benches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think we might just need to have one more I do landscape too. meeting. Mm -hmm. I do. And, just the you know, committee. Betty can come, get Jody there. Just the committee. Just to see, since I was out of town last weekend, I feel like I sort of missed a step there. So even though I basically know what's going on, but yeah. I just we can even have just a landscape meeting. So yeah, that's I think what, we could have one so more Cynthia, if you could get that on the calendar with Jody and Betty, and then we'll just go over and just decide what we're going to do. Yeah, yeah, and let Jody, it's, I'm sure she'll have some input too, because the thing is, the longer you put something off, also the cost just goes yeah, up. Exactly. Yeah. Right, and, there, and there's a momentum question. And we could get mired down on other things mm -hmm. that take right. us away from this. So, uh, yeah, and, and, and the other thing, just what Jody pointed out at the last meeting was that 
that, that there's all kinds of different seating and that, that in her experience, certainly some seating like the benches may not be as comfortable for some patrons in terms of how it's being used, but other, you know, younger kids might be like, like sprawled out on it and that's how they use it. But there's, there are chairs and other kinds of things that will offer, you know, back support and things like that that the benches don't have. So the question is, do we go uniform? In every, every, you know, or I, I asked the question too, can those benches have some kind of modular um, backs we could put in at some point if we needed mm. to, so that way if they really weren't working out based on patron feedback, mm -hmm. we could add that at a later time. You know, so mm -hmm. that's one way of, of looking into that's it. That's a good. It's a good thing to bring up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, signage on, is on track. That's a. Um, that's just a day project for installing mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. uh, signage. Oh, okay. I have just one little detail question. Yeah. Our, did we think at all about putting something on that door that leads out to Wilmette Avenue to say no entrance or on the door? You know, you mean from I the mean? inside? Yeah. Um, that's a good question, but I don't know. Okay. I mean, there were a lot of different specs and different signs, but... Yeah. Um, I didn't know if that came up, but I was walking by there today, and I remember that people try to get in that door, somebody said. Right. And Where is there an existing sign? No. Okay. Not, or not that I could see. Okay. I mean, from the, you went it from the exterior, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we didn't do any exterior signage. It was all interior. Well, you could still put one but, on the interior. Like a vinyl kind of thing? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll mention it to Sarah Beth. She's okay. in charge of that. Okay. Um, so Polaris, Polaris, Polaris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's launching.